I go over and check that staff, uh, that snake staff that the snake guy was holding that turned into a snake. <laughs> the staff of the egg. Oh yeah, what happened with that? I don't know. Oh. It just falls to the ground as his head was cleaved off. Okay, did, did well. Yeah, it, it, it bit Finian. Oh, did it? And mm-hmm. also the reason why he had to roll the craft food today. Uh, now Finian okay. is slithering away. This staff will be uh, uh, attuned by druids, clerics, and warlocks. Oh! Essentially, you can, there's a command one which is causing the head of this snake on top of the staff to become alive, which you can use then as a bonus action to make melee attacks. Hmm. And um, it has a balance of hit points. <laughs> and essentially, like, you can cast spells while it takes care of the best. Neat. Uh, right? And it has a set amount of hit points, and, and once it returns back to the staff, then it regains all these hit points, but if it, it gets uh, reached zero hit points, it, the staff is destroyed. A bunch of stuff. <laughs> And then essentially it works that you can make a, a melee attack with the creature taking 1d6 six, six piercing damage and then they must succeed on a DC 15 constitution save or take an additional, uh, what is it, 3d6 poison damage. Oh. That is a lot of poison damage. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep a hold of this staff, staff right now. You have the staff of the app. The snack. Does it look like a snake? snake yeah, when snake. It's in hand, imagine Moses. Yeah, basically I, I'm, moving. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering at this point. I mean, I have a talking flying animal, and now I have a snake staff. I'm t- slowly turning into Jafar here. <laughs> this is <a> turban. <laughs> <laughs> the transformation is complete, also mortals. Terrible facial hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very, very, very sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Not right now. Um, so. Uh, so the door into yeah, uh, this room is that open? Uh, before we proceed on, um, can I can I light the remains of the Hydra uh, with something like a torch? A just just yeah. be certain that it isn't there Will when we return. Burn? Will it burn? Does it burn? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it doesn't burn. But you see, as you uh, get closer, you see it starts with like. It is like a piece of uh, wood that is burning you, and it's called almost like charcoal, and with these flakes flying up into the air as ash just dissipates and leaving behind only a very faint amount of traces of ash, as well as a, a bottle. I pick up the bottle. And inside the bottle, you see this black and crimson smoke just floating around. I should write that down. Like a, in a vortex. Bottle of smoke. Okay, so Smoke. black and crimson smoke. Oh, that could be a smoke. Do, I, do we think maybe um, there are any teeth left from the Hydra, or or is do, do I think maybe that the ash from the Hydra could have any uh, chemical properties? Probably, yeah. <laughs> There's also a couple of scales and, and actual fangs from the fight itself. Oh, okay. They don't seem to dissipate along with the hyper ah, I, I think we can agree that we just take all we can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go back and fetch. So I can, I can, I can, I can gather hydrogen, sort of hydro ash, yeah. and also some fangs and scales. Um. Fangs. And you can see there's still actual toxin within some of these fangs. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. You have a lot of toxin and stuff. Yes. Uh, but that's not really very useful I am against. Not looking things. like super great. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, so that's the next question. What do we do now? The room. I mean, do we pursue Heskin? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm tired. At the same time, we can't allow him to get away. Yes. Which I pointed Fenian. <laughs> How snake is Fenian right now? Again, it still has to suffer the surface price, but that's it. Oh, it's, it's, it's proceeding again? Uh, it seems all the, the, like, the scales and the form of and so forth that dissipated when the, the clone of Eskin was killed, but he still has the snake eyes. <clears throat> what, what, how, how are other people doing? Wait, I have a healing potion. Yeah, but don't do it. Yeah, wait, wait with that. Okay. Because if we're going to take a long rest, then don't do it. Yes. Uh, so how do? Yeah, how are people feeling? Uh, not I've good. I've been worse. No. I've been much better. Um, I can heal people with my uh, spells, but oh, I Heskin. think... Oh, <laughs> ah, fuck! I can. Hi, Heskin. We were just talking. Okay, about so I'll, ta- I'll take my healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much is that for... That's 1d4, isn't it? You can see Heskin arrives like, across the house. Yeah, he's a large... So. Uh, so I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Essentially like a barbarian who's like... Grey scales, big what? crown, cocoa okay. crown. Heskin! Heskin, we've killed all your lieutenants, we killed the Hydra, surrender, and, Oops, so and, and we can maybe solve okay. this problem. Plus two hit points. 
Okay. I am more than willing to parlay my infernal guest. Okay. That's oh, six, six points. So does it look like my sister just heal real fast? Yeah, you can easily talk while they do all this. That's two, that's 2d4 plus 2, right? No, plus 4. No, uh, 2d4 plus 2 hit points. You okay. drink this potion. I mean, as far as I can see. I mean, I don't know if I'm looking no, at some wrong, wrong stats. Um, yeah, well, hvor meget det er for en... Med healing potion, det er 2d4 plus 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, okay, just... I have no quarrels with you. Well, we've come here to help our friend Fanion, who, 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 who you've cursed. You can see he moves close, like... Uh, his arms look crossed as he moves. Slightly crawling around his own tail as he looks at the thing. This appears to be the handiwork of my other self. He does have a taste for the theatrical. And he just, with a single hand, the eyes are turned to normal. Okay. That is neat. Um, why, why have you been uh, been pursuing, well, not being specifically, but, but the support? And smiles and shakes his head. Sort you out. I have done nothing of the sort. Whatever has happened to you and your colleagues were all done by the whims of my other self. Uh, he adamantly seeks to complete my former goal. At least that is my guess. Well, I mean, he did. did. He is, um... <laughs> your old goal. Your, he still pursues your old goals. What, what does that entail for you now? I chase the dreams of a fool. I fought to revive my kin. To bring the Yuanzi race back to its former glory. But in my failures, I found wisdom. The dream is no longer mine, yet it matters not. Wow. That's so sort of sad. Mm. Why doesn't it matter? I have greater goals in mind. A new path has revealed itself to me. Hmm. Okay. okay, how many other cells do you have? There was only the one. Okay. Make an inside check. Inside. 17. He seems genuine. Okay. Yeah. See, uh, Naraso takes a step forward. Where is the Oh yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Heskin doesn't seem to respond. Just out of curiosity, could you um, retrieve the items of my friends from the pits? <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's just a bunch of baggers, I don't really care. Certainly. Oh. And then cast uh, Animal Friendship. Snake's own because that's a very fancy feature. And you see, essentially, the snakes like to treat it, and then they form a ladder of. Oh, so nice! A ladder of snakes, you said! <laughs> yeah, snake ladder. Yes, I, I like take my take about <laughs> and just get yeah. away from the fucking snake pit. Okay, they, they don't smell really good. It seems like the bottom of the pit. Uh, well, uh, does it smell better or worse than she does? <laughs> As I've never smelled the excrement of a snake, I, I'm <laughs> hard pressed and I haven't really smelled like rotting meat, so. Hmm. I think the rotting meat is still worse. I think we're beyond that point anyway. Mm. Has, yeah, has, can we. we I, th- I think our friend um, and Narasu here does need his, his, his friend back. Yet I need her too. Okay. Where's she at? <laughs> you, see, you say as he stands in front of a door frame leading into a dark room. <laughs> Beats me. Uh, Alright, okay, well then we've... Okay, so that means we've reached an impasse. Because we really do... Why do we need her? Oh, we don't. Oh. Uh, our friend needs her. You see, like, Naras is just clenching this battle axe. Yeah, like, I mean, you might be able to convince us, but I don't think you're going to be able to convince uh, the crystal here. Mr. Crystal Man... Please. There is no need for this act of aggression, wouldn't you say? And you see, Naras is just... Oh, ah. Oh my god. Now, there should be no problem in me keeping the woman. <clears throat> uh, Not really. <laughs> uh, it's just sort of, we have this problem, you're kind of a bad guy. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, if you can just return her real quick, we'll get right <laughs> out of your scales. I just don't want to see, she's fine. Uh, for what? For my plan. Which is? <laughs> it just sounds very ominous. Like that. I do not understand your apprehension. 
Are you doing this for the common good? Yes, I'm sure it is. Uh, but, 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 uh, is it good for except you and perhaps the Yuan-Chi race? It is good for all of us. All will benefit from the salvation. If it's so good for all of us, could you perhaps tell us <laughs> what we have been waiting? <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Hmm, I am very bad at persuasion. Fifteen. I do apologize. But that has to remain a secret for now. Boo. I serve a greater power. The choice is not mine to make. Okay. Can, maybe, can we find some compromise where we maybe help you with, with, your, with your stuff willingly instead of this person doing it? That depends. I need a sacrifice. <laughs> I just went to the brother. <laughs> Well, okay. I mean, maybe we could find like a criminal or some sort of murderer or like a. Oh, definitely. But also, there's a lot of dead uh, you aren't seeing here. You can maybe use. And you see, like that fork that never crossed his mind. Before. <laughs> it's like. What? But of course. <laughs> You want to help people too. <laughs> yeah, I get really I get this sinistically, like it is also easy. Why why haven't I thought of this before? And you see he sna- uh, speaks to the snakes again and declare that it fallen down to the pit, bursting into flame. Has managed as it fall actually to cast cure wounds on himself. But he's fine. And due to the fact that he's now in top snake, he they have braced his impact. Please, brother. Join my son. <laughs> and you see, you like that Rasu, the Yonzi just falls in, like, starts to walk. It's something as movement towards him. So if you just give us the, um, what's that, what's her name? Uh, Guele. 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 Then, then we have a deal. Then, and then, then you can just then we will go back. Please. Please. Certainly. Please, one moment. And he just enters the room with the Yonzi, like, <laughs> walking slowly behind Oh, Damn. Okay. And um, the scene comes back again. Essentially holding a, a bald woman and in his arms. Two rooms circle around it, a perfect circle. And two uh, purple tattoos on each of her eyes that are closed. She seems to have been knocked unconscious or something like that. Hey. Here you are. As promised. Hey, I, thanks. Um, I, I guess Crystal Guy takes her? Dabry. Crystal Guy is still. Mama? Dabry. <laughs> Definitely Dabry. Yeah, Dabry's like. Fine, it seems like I have to take a look around. Thanks. Listen, Heskin, we're going to return to the uh, the mortal plane now. Can, would you mind just Don't kind of... Don't shit up. Yeah, can you just mind kind of keeping away from there? Fred not. I am not to return. My plan has not reached that far yet. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I, I poked every... Um, like uh, I mean, off game, I could easily. But like, could you like do like a like a check? Like, do you would you say you have any religious idea? I'm, I'm basically telling you to do a religion check. On Heskin, or just a general, uh, ju- just the uh, in- thing that's, that's going on at the moment. Oh, okay. Here's what that reverse, and he's going to share this knowledge. But but wouldn't it would be left the place? Yeah, we, or is he gonna do it right now? Well, we're gonna be huddled like here. <laughs> I mean, I doubt Heskin minds that we know. I mean, he seems a bit far off. Hey, uh, hey I'm gonna tell you what he noticed, and then you can go okay. into specifics. Okay. You mentioned again briefly that like, points like this whole place, temple of Saran. However, there seems to be various places where, like, this circle with like the motif of smoke being carved into it repeatedly, like Johnny is a doll boy, mm-hmm. sort of style. All across, like defacing this place, as you also recalled that uh, the brood mother told you. Yeah. And listen, I could not agree that you haven't seen before. Mm. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, this place. Yeah, I, 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 I know, I do too. I'm only thinking that at at this point, he has no interest in us. However, he will almost definitely become an issue later on. I, I don't know anything about that. He might just hang out here with it and do his own stuff in the Shadowfell. I mean, everything sucks here. So, uh, in, have a nice time, Heskin. Uh, you know, see you on the flip side. Likewise. I appreciate our talk. It has been most enlightening. Mm-hmm. 
We have go outside, have a short rest, and go uh, oh, can, you, can, you maybe, can you wait? Can you help? Can you wait? These two guys up. How pissed would you guys be if I cast Eldritch Blast right now? <laughs> if it's in character. <laughs> And you can see that he, uh, uh, Narasu is about to charge towards Heskin, uh, but stops as soon as he sees that Davrid is holding with him in his arms. See, see, see look, look, uh, Narasu, we got your friend. Let's go. Let's go and sort of pushing people sort of towards the door. Cat, this is great. Oh, wow. I turned uh, my chest to like, trap door, can you like. Oh, certainly. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'd never get over that, we'd never get over that. Yeah. And he follows you. So what's the... Uh, I like what, power walk as fast as I can towards the exit. And you see he pushes on one of the bricks at the side of the entrance. That's very good. I sort of tentatively put one foot up. Does it hold? Yeah. Alright, I walk over. It's fine. Fucking run over. Alright. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Turn back a little. <laughs> Before you leave, I have one question. How did you get here? I stole a car, <laughs> vehicle. I think you misunderstand. I mean, how did you reach my lair? How did you get here? Oh, uh, we jumped over snake pits. The shadow fell. Well, you know, that's for that's for us to know and you to ask. Okay. We have See friends in high places. It's <laughs> <laughs> plus one for me. I, have, I think that's 11, 11, 11. Uh, yeah. yeah. Speak true. How did you arrive into the Shadow Well? Oh, uh, we got here by... Uh, <laughs> 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 the <laughs> oh, come on. Fem- no, no, no. <laughs> you should be saying. Please, allow your brother to speak. <sighs> we... <laughs> No one is professor by the name of Professor Cunningham. Prof Khan? Prof Khan. <laughs> Who has been staying behind after you jumped over. Oh, we are! Yeah. Yeah. Professor Cunningham brought us here through magical teleportation magic. And also, we got help from Besh, the god. Uh, and we're then, homies. We're homies, our friend now, because he took, he, he kind of sort of took the form of, or he sort of, he sort of possessed a guy and then he helped us through like a ritual. It was good. Is that everything? Yeah. We drove That's here. Like- from the town after we got helped by the Shadow Kai who helped us get to a town for a ghost who just kind of wanted to give us stuff but they didn't have any food and then we drove there. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see he's comes back with concern. So, Vash aided you in this endeavor. You sure got it, Vash, the god he helped us and I'm afraid of <laughs> This is concerning. It means he must know. But knowing is no longer enough. We have gone too far. And then he turns around and leaves you. Do I still need to say true stuff? No. Okay, finish. Ah. Ah. That was fun. <laughs> I start leaving. I, want, I don't want to yeah. be here no more. I don't, okay, I don't I'm like pretty this. sure that we wouldn't have the August, but he's not here, so fuck him! Can we just have a short rest in the fucking ambush this place? I don't like him. No, no, let's go, let's go to the car. The car? Like we had one? No, we had That's two. You. No, we had two. Yeah, too. But you need to insert the fuel yeah. uh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, as, do we get out? Is it without problem? Yeah. Oh, okay. You have sprung the traps to water and to stay in the gas as well. Right. Well, as soon as we get out, I say, say to Chris Cunningham, uh, well, yeah. you know, we did it. You got to hang out in the uh, shadow fell or whatever yeah. it was you wanted. Can you get us the fuck out of here? Certainly. Because it's 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, guys. So do what you gotta do. Any memorabilia you need to pick up from the Shadowfell, uh, please go ahead. Uh, where Where's the time? time? Uh, as we wait for the... Right outside, outside the fucking place. Oh. Right. Or, or what, do we drive away a little bit to get away from Heskin in case he changes his mind? Uh, I guess we go on. <clears throat> All right, okay, fine. Put the fucking car crystals back in the fucking car, and then we drive a mile. And Aurora is like, she's just having the time. Yeah. Yeah. And we choose some place that's relatively, there's nothing... Yeah, like surrounded by buildings, there's a whole Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe a chop one so we can look out of yeah. that. So then you you wait for a while. Ten minutes is a longer time than at your imagine when you're like impatiently waiting to get back home. Mm-hmm. Also, I think I, I think I had a, a thing about I find this place hopeless, so I'm gonna yeah. die here or something. Yeah, I yeah. still feel that. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to tell us the truth about it. <laughs> and as the the professor's like about to finish the, the ritual, you see in the distance like black clouds forming in the sky. Mm-hmm. But then you see this gargantuan skills and black hand of smoke coming down the second one. Okay. Getting closer by this uh, measurable distance again. It's getting closer and closer like it's an incoming storm. And from this cloud, a skeleton head looks down. It's shaped completely black with the exception of its eyes that are just glowing white like two suns. Its mouth wide open as an acid opens, it's like looking into a black crystal that reflects all the sort of light. And you're just, uh, just hit by this immeasurable dread fear. As if this is all the, the, the pure negative energies coalescing, or rather just combined within a single form, form that is caused of all the dread within the shadow flow. And then the teleportation activates. And you're like, oh. And you're standing inside the church of Bess in Solkai. So that isn't great. <laughs> Thanks for listening. The intro music was by Phil Fisher, whereas the outro music was by Martin Kerr. The other pieces, which are mentioned in the description down below, were created by Kevin McLeod and Enda Genye. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in Dorkin. <laughs>